Hello everyone, it's Lori. Today I want to make my own little faith-based art journal. I'm just going to reuse some recycled cardboard, some scrapbook paper that I cut out, and the scrapbook paper is from Walmart. It's just scraps that I have set aside. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Let's see, what size is this? Five by six. And I have already cut out some sketch paper that I'm gonna use for the inside. So, let me move this out of the way. I already scratched up the surface so that everything sticks. I'm just gonna add some sticky tape, you can get this at Dollar Tree, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it wherever they sell double-sided double sticky tape. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to add, I got some Barely Art glue. And I'll put that, well let me take these off first. Because art journals are expensive and you can actually make them yourself and you can buy the sketchbook paper at Walmart also. So I will just put some glue around my edges. Let me open this up this way so I don't get any on the back cover yet. And it's finally warming up outside. Because I can do like scripture words. Um, I have a box that I have um, made some things to put in an art journal. Which one? This one. Now I'll turn it around, push it down, and then I will line up my front and top. And just press it down. Here is a box that I have that just has some little stamped out sayings on tissue paper that I'll use that I've made um, in my art journaling. But I want to make a little art journal for myself. Now we'll do the back. Do the same thing, I'll add some tape just to hold it down while the glue dries. <clears throat> Use the back, push it down, pick it up. my glue back and this glue dries really fast I've I've learned um, so make sure you get it positioned on there where you want it just wipe the tip off Reinsert my pin. Oh my goodness. There we go. And I want to keep the rougher edge to the outside, so I'll just turn it around real quick. Lay this down. Make sure I'm lined up. There we go. <clears throat> and this will be my front. And this will be my back. I don't believe, you know, I got a little hangover on both sides, so I'll just grab my scissors here and just trim that off. Okay. 
Now, what kind of, actually, to keep my border pretty solid and from splitting too much, I just have some paper tape that I bought at Walmart. And I use that to put on here to help strengthen my spine because I'm going to sew my signature in here. So, I don't know if I want to put anything else on the outside. Mm, no. So what I'll do is I'll take it and let me find a piece of scrap paper. Just somewhat the same measurement. I'll just cut it off here. I'm not very precise. I always just wing a lot of stuff. Cut that off. Put that on here. I just have a piece of styrofoam <clears throat> that I'm going to be pressing this into. And I can usually feel where my middle is. Maybe I'll go from the inside. I'll just go from the inside. Do I want two? Two signatures be enough? Let's just do three. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not using that. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. I'll take one piece. I'll put it underneath. I'll make sure that I have my bend where my paper is. Punch it, punch it, and I'll punch it. See? And then I'll take a couple sheets over here, line it up really good. That looks about good. And I'll just punch it, punch it, and punch it. I'll take this and do the rest. Punch it, punch it, and just punch it. All right, grab these, if I can see through them, line them up, perfect, all right, I have some old twine that I've had for a very long time, and I usually don't cut it until after I've sewn through my signature because why waste it if I don't have to and ugh, always 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 love trying to get this through there we go and I'll just try and grab it best I can on these, pull back. All right, let me get this started and I'll be right back. All right. Now, I don't want my thread on the inside, so I'll go through the middle here and just find my hole that I made in the paper. Go through, go through the top. I don't ever pull everything tight until I've got it all put together anyway. That way it's a lot easier on me. I'll go back through the middle hole. I'll pull it tight though so I don't puncture through my thread. Like that. I'll just pull that tight again. Come through. Find the last hole. 
pull it through, pull this off, cut the rest, move that aside. <clears throat> just oh that's not good we don't want to lose that so I need to oh! it's the thread is old that's awesome all right so I pulled too tight too by the way but these things happen so you just fix it I'll come up here and tie the knot And normally I usually run it, like if I have a candle burning, I'll run it through a candle so that it's like waxed thread. There we go. Easy peasy. So, now I have my art journal. Sorry about that. And, now I can make my art in here. But I wanted to put like an envelope in here. But, I have some papers that I've made, and I think I'm going to use those <clears throat> to do my inside with. It's like, oh, there's a glare. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me fix the glare. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I just want to cover the inside, so what I'll do is I'll just get some matte medium, shake it up. Sorry about the loud noise. Put some down, spread it around. And you gotta, gotta be quick with matte medium because it, it loves to dry fast, especially if you're not going to use a huge thick layer of it because it soaks into whatever you're using it for. And I think I'll use this one and I'll just lay it down and smush it down. Press it. Grab some more where it didn't go very well. Press that down. Add more. I like the graffiti look of the paper because I made myself some of uh, my own faith based tissue paper, and this was the part where I stamped off. Um, a lot of my stamps and some inks and paints and things like that. All right. And let's see, my back one. There's a real wild one in here that I want to <clears throat> use because. I mean, I would use that for a background, but that's crazy. I'd have to knock that back. Maybe I will just save that one. Oh, do I have another one? Yeah, this one. Hmm. I wouldn't use that on the front. Anyway, we'll save the back for another time, I guess. Close that. I'll flip it over. And I'll just hold it down. Get it torn right where it's at and then tear it back. Just flip it over, hold it down, and tear the edge off. Normally I would wait until it's dry, but it's all right. This is gonna be a grungy little art book anyway. I'll just cut this one. Okay. 
Because I have some scripture cards. And it's a lot easier to work small than it is to work big. You can accomplish a lot more sometimes without the intimidation of having to fill up the whole thing. Like, if I wanted to do this one, I would just glue this down, knock it back with some white gesso, and put my quote down, do whatever decorating I wanted, and it would be good to go. Um, I still need to do the front and add a closure. And I might just paint this and then adhere it on here. But that's one of many little art journals that I'm going to make. I made <clears throat> this one with, let's see, this tissue paper that I made. And it's just watercolor paper that I painted and sprayed and stamped on. And there's the inside ready to be used. All right. Thank All right. So let's decorate the front of this. Um, I like this. Maybe I can use one of these tissue papers as a border. I like that. I think I might save that for on the inside of one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. Let's see. Looks like a big ink blot. <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to tear around the edge. And then glue it down. Maybe I'll glue it down this way. Or should I use it? I kind of like that. But I'm not going to put that on there until after I've done the front. Um, no. I'm going to do that. All right. <clears throat> and then I'll put this in here first. This is my pocket. Just to put, like, if I find, like, words... That I want to put in here, although oh, that's fine. I was gonna say that's really pushing the envelope. <laughs> anyway, for size wise, I'm just gonna add some tape to the back, just so that it stays in here. Like if if I make little word quotes. I can put them in here so that I don't lose them. That's meant for this size of the journal. I won't lose them. All I did was fold up a piece of paper, cut the corners, and glue the sides together. That was it. It's just a makeshift little envelope, and I'll probably paint it um, Another time, like when I'm doing an art journal where I'm using acrylics. Um, I like sprays, but you can't use too many mediums with sprays. Because they bleed. Alright, so I'd probably use acrylics. Or little leftover pieces like this from these papers that I've made. Alright, let's see. Add some matte medium this way. Just put it down, spread it out. I know it's going to kind of be diagonal, so 
Let me see where I need to put more. I'm never really neat. What's the fun in being ultimately neat? I like the little creases. They don't bother me in the tissue paper. Adds character. And I'll just mash that down. Wow, did I miss that spot? I sure did. Get up in there, there. All right, that's better. There might be an air bubble or two, but when it dries, it'll pull tight. All right, and I'm just going to pull these little cluster of crosses out. Just tear around it best you can. But you want the paper torn so that it lays down nice and invisible. I'll put that there. Nope, I'm going to put it up here. Change my mind. Because, oh, you lifting up little W. Alright, now let's look into the box of stamped sentiments or words and see what I have that I want to use. I have, when life gets too hard to stand, Neil, I have, have faith. I like that one. Always be joyful. There's a lot of them that I like. Um, ooh, what about believe? Have faith and believe. I like these two. So that's what I will use. And let's just rip around the outside. My house is so very quiet. Not a sound. I have a large dog, but she loves to sleep. Mm -hmm. She does. <laughs> That's her hobby. Sleeping. I'm telling you, there are times that where she'll just jerk up, start barking like some kind of mad thing, and it's uh, it, it scares me half to death because I heard nothing. There is nothing, but she heard something. All right, so have faith and believe. And so a little paint to these. Let me get some paint. I'll be right back. Okay, I have some bright yellow, which is Craft Smart, and some Apple Barrel Lime Green. I'm just going to do a light wash on them um, with some watered down paint. I'm just going to do a teeny drop just to add a little more color. I mean, as time goes on, I might add this or that. Take some water. Get a little squirt. Because I just want to tint the paper. I don't want to paint the paper. So, let's get this nice and diluted. And I think I'll go with the Believe on this one. I like that. And I'll do the yellow, because I've got pink and blue, I'll do yellow for the Have Faith. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> my paint tray. <laughs> I'm going to go off camera and dry these real quick. I also thought about maybe doing some black splashes. So let's grab some black paint. I just want to jazz it up a little bit. And I can actually just do one little dot. Get, sorry for my reach. Add some water to my black paint. Take the old fan brush, mix it around. There's some ugly yellow in there, why not? I'll use that. And then, there. Hit that with a dryer real quick. Or, I know what I'll do. Because I've just, I have all these. I can just pick it up. It adds more to it. All right. Boop, there we go. All right. Now I have this here, this here, and let's go into the bucket of markers. And find a white one to add some highlights of some sort. It gets all over the place. And I think I'll just outline the hearts. Add some little swirlies. Why not? I always still need to... Let me hit the black real quick. Two seconds with this. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. There's another heart. And I'll just do... We'll see after we put these down. I know they look very close to each other. I didn't realize that, but it's okay. Now, I'll add some matte medium down here. For my title, and I'll just put that. I don't want to cover that whole thing up, maybe right there. Like that. That looks pretty good. And then once this is dry, I'll gesso some pages and I'll start making some art in it. And I'll put my name on the back and the date when I made it. And that way my grandchildren can have it if they want it. Or my daughters or anybody in my family. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye for now.